Welcome to Community Health TV powered by Community Therapy. I'm here with accredited practicing dietitian Grace and we're talking about wound management today. So from a dietitian's perspective, why is what does wounds mean to a dietitian? Yeah. <laughs> why is it a concern? Obviously we know, but you know, we support older adults, people living with disabilities across our community, Coast and Hunter, but why would you be concerned about a wound? What is a wound? So firstly, yeah, what is a wound? Um, it is a very broad question because we can see wounds in a lot of different ways. It may be something as simple as a bruise, it may be redness or um, such as a pressure injury and then that can get more severe as well so it may be an actual open wound um, and it may also be related to any kind of fractures as well um, that essentially requires healing so happen. for general public so knowing that it's always difficult doing yeah. videos like this because we're used to speaking more high level health lingo mm -hmm. Um, and we're trying to speak at like a common level as well so people understand what we're talking about. In, I guess, health landscapes, we're always thinking about wounds in terms of different stages and there's ways to stage wounds. However, for general public, you may not always be aware of what a wound is and that there can be different stages of things. So I guess the summary there is, a wound can be very superficial and not very deep. And like most people would maybe refer to them like as a sore. Mm -hmm. And they could even develop for, I guess, younger people of, from a cut. Where for older adults, uh, people living with disabilities, people that are chair bound or bed bound, um, not ambulatory, that may be more from the build up of pressure from not changing position a lot. But I think a lot of the time people think about equipment with things that can help wounds. So things like pressure relieving mattresses, um, different types of specialised cushions and seating that can move and beds that can move, often prescribed and assessed by occupational therapists. However, I don't think people often think about, well, what's a dietitian's role in wound management, in particular like wound healing? So what do you do for yes, wounds? <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> um, yeah, and as you've already mentioned, I mean, typically if we get a wound, we think about putting a Band-Aid or a bandage to help with that management and healing. But nutrition is certainly extremely important, um, particularly as you mentioned, those pressure sores or injuries and those that are open wounds really do require a lot of nutrition, um, specifically things like vitamin A, vitamin C, iron, zinc and arginine, which is a amino acid found in protein. So those specific nutri nutrients do target wounds and the promotion of wound healing. Um, I'm not saying that we don't need a bandage, we certainly do, but nutrition just helps in that promotion and um, helping the wound heal quicker mm. as well. So the other part of it that we do need to factor in is hydration. So the amount of fluids that we consume because when we're high, well hydrated, it does help in delivering those specific nutrients to help heal that wound as well. Which can then sort of always makes me think about the complexity of complex wound management mm. because you speak to hydration, but some people living with a wound may not want to increase their hydration because they may be living with other conditions like such as incontinence. So then there may be a concern of increasing fluid intake and how that impacts other care needs such as um, incontinence and bowel management and all different aspects. So I think the real summary here with wound management is that it is complex and requires a multidisciplinary team, typically registered nurse, occupational therapist and dietitian would be your key professionals. Obviously general practitioner and sometimes specialists can be involved in really complex wounds as well. But from a dietetics perspective, you really need that involvement to look at that overall you know, nutrition and often use of supplementation with more complex things such as Arginine. 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 <laughs> um, um, in that involvement of the process as well. So I think one of the takeaways here is making sure whether you're somebody living with a wound or you know somebody living with a wound, you're a health professional coordinator, you need to ensure that a dietitian is involved in that wound management um, because I think it can often be thought of later in the stage, so more towards 
higher end stages of wound management and not what we would think as more preventative or early on of trying to prevent that becoming yeah, complex. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Anything that we didn't cover? Um, look, I think, you know, as much as we talk about how important nutrition and hydration are, we do need to also, um, I guess, highlight that we do want to implement practical strategies as well. So looking at more nutrient dense and high protein foods. And you mentioned earlier, someone might be living with other complex conditions, something where such as incontinence, where we're not getting or we're avoiding having fluids to prevent going to the bathroom. And that's where we can really come in and use sort of, I guess, creative and unique strategies in different ways, like having yogurt or introducing more fruits into our diet that still have fluid and can still help with that hydration process as well. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Wonderful. Complex topic of wound management, but hopefully we've done it justice in a small video to give you some takeaway messages. Check out the description and comments with some helpful tips as well, and we'll see you in the next episode.